a lot of those places have like kind of closed down or burned down. Burned down. What SourceFed did that too, did they? Yep. It got bought the fuck out. Oh, oh welcome back. They got Depressing. closed down, Depressing. bought out, and then somebody tried to make a, a YouTube channel using that uh, SourceFed in SourceFed Gaming, but it was a whole new people and. Nobody liked it. <laughs> Nobody liked it. They were very angry about it, and everyone was tanking all the, all all the dislikes and everything <laughs> like that. And that then they're sense. like, "Okay, we get it. We'll have to make our own channel and have it come up naturally. We won't take this already million uh, view yeah, channel. It's kind of not. You know, I don't think a lot of people would be into that. Yeah, they're like, you basically just bought a million uh, viewers. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you're trying to hawk your own crap on it, and yeah. no one's buying it. No yeah. one wants it. Yeah. Perfect. Wow, thanks. Perfect <laughs> whoosh. Whoosh my dick. Whoosh my goosh. A little bit more. No, no, keep going. Whooshy? No, but that's going to be blocked, isn't it? Oh, never mind. I count. I miscounted. It's fine. Time for a turret section. Why would a defense cannon require that kind of like password identification? Because then the game couldn't happen. Couldn't they just have like, oh yeah, the code's uh, two two two. The code two, is <laughs> How many twos? Seven. Seven twos. One one. Then another two, and then sixty-nine. Oh. This wasn't even loaded properly. <laughs> like the turret wasn't even loaded properly. That's fine. <laughs> you don't need it. That's fun. Uh yeah, there's been like I haven't really been keeping up on a lot of gaming shit lately. I just kind of... Anthem was a big disaster. Yep. Um, so Bioware is probably going to get closed down. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the last two <coughs> showings were abysmal. Yes. Fire the cannon! Although, you know what? I don't know. Have you played get Andromeda? Get get have get you played Andromeda or no? Oops, I no, missed. I have not. Um, I played the demo and, like, it actually was kind of... Like, it's not anything special. I hear... Yeah, I hear that it's okay, but it's really not like up to standards. No. And but the premise was cool. Like, yeah. Like the opening, because like the demo allows you to play like the opening like hour or so. Okay. Maybe hour or two. The, the like, missile tower. I know. I, oh, God. I'm, get, I'm getting it, man. Shoot it. But um. But yeah, like the opening hour or two was like it actually has like a decent like setup Death. for everything. Those are fat chody missiles. Dude. Yes, they are. <laughs> Um, cause yeah, it's like, you know, the whole premise of the game is obviously you go to the Andromeda Galaxy and you're trying to find, you know, a new place to live. And yeah. like, you're like among the first people to go out into the new galaxy and it's cool because when it starts up, like, you know, obviously there's complications and like, you know, you lose contact with the other ship that had survivors on it or people on it or whatever. And it's like, you know, you're in a completely new world and it's kind of cool. Like just the idea of that. But yeah, they... The gameplay is not that great. It's real. Yeah, I heard the gameplay is kind of like three, kind of like then three, janky. kind of like three, but like shittier if you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I yeah. heard like the animations and all that were pretty crappy. They they must have updated it in the demo because I didn't think they were terrible. I mean, they were great, but they were okay. Like they must have fixed it up a little bit. Yeah. But I don't know, did you see, too, like, recently they just came out with, like, a, I don't know if it was an info dump or an article or whatever, but I think, like, some people did some interviews with um, employees from BioWare. And, oh, yeah. And they had actually, like, said that, yeah, like, the development of Anthem was, like, a complete and utter disaster. Yeah, like, they were going completely different ways. Yeah, they didn't know what game they were making until they announced it in E3 in 2017 or something like that. Yeah, and then it was just, like, rushed in pretty much a year. Yep. Yep, it was in pre-production for like five years, and then like they actually like developed it for like one year. So yeah, it's, uh, it wasn't it wasn't like just 
it wasn't just like mishandled. I think it was like mishandled by every like a lot of people, and not only Bioware but also at EA, of course. But it was just yeah. you know, I I knew I knew it, man. Like as soon as I saw that game get announced, I'm like, that game's gonna be shit. <laughs> like I just knew something in my gut told me that game is gonna be terrible. And then it comes out, and then sure enough, like everybody hates it. Yeah, I I, I looked at it. and I'm like, oh. it's not my kind of game. I don't no. I don't like. I've I've come to realize over time that I don't like games that have like the whole loot drop crap going on in it because then you end up spending so much time in the menu sifting through all these different like randomly generated pieces of loot, and then it's like you got to figure out which one has the best this or the best that, you know. Like, I remember a while ago we played that Neo game, and that was, like, my biggest complaint with that game. Like, that's the one thing I hate about it, is that there's the loot drop system that I just don't like. Yeah, I didn't like the loot drop system in Neo either. I'm like, oh, Neo's okay. Like, the combat is is okay. It's basically just trying to be Souls, which is, like, the problem with it in the 2 also, in a way. But, like, especially considering, like, now that Sekiro's out, like, it's kind of the same aesthetic of, like, being in, like, a Feudal Japan type thing. But Sekiro does so many new things to the Souls like formula that it's like you can't just ape Souls anymore. And expect is expect the game to be good. Yeah, um, you'll see what I mean when we play it. We're gonna be playing it in a little bit. Now, what would you give that game so far out of ten? What Sekiro? Yes. Uh, definitely like a high nine. So now, do you far. think you're gonna keep that number, or do you feel like in a in a couple of months, your number's going to drop like a it point might, or two like it in may, most of the time. It, there is definitely a possibility that it'll drop, but um, it really, like, you know, that's sometimes that just kind of comes from the fact that you've played it and experienced the game, you know? What? I say, like, you played it and you experienced it, so you're like, yeah, I don't want to play it anymore. But um, they really did a fantastic job with that game. There's Good. not really anything that I can actively say or think of that I think is a problem with it. Is it more Bloodborne-esque? Or? It's more Bloodborne-esque. Okay. You can't really you can't really tank anything in the game. Um, <coughs> I know I saw like the HUD is definitely different. Yeah. Where it's like you have like this bar that fills up and then you die if it fills up. No, that's... No, so uh, we'll see. Or we'll, is that the enemy we'll, bar? That's the enemy bar. But okay. we'll, talk, we'll talk about it when the game comes up. I... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be talking about a different game when we're playing this one. <laughs> Why are you thinking? Are we cheating on this game? <laughs> no, it's just that, like you know, you'll you will see it when it comes up. That's yeah. Mister Zircon. Meanwhile, I mean, this all I have to mind. do in this game is just shoot stuff. Shoot stuff and look cute. Oh no! I can only do one of those things. I can't do them simultaneously. Okay, well then just shoot stuff. <laughs> Why? Do you think I'm cute when I poop? You don't let me watch you. Mm-hmm. Do you want to watch me poop? No. Good. It ain't pretty. <sighs> so, Billy, you've been uh, catching up on the porno? Nope. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wow. That's All surprising. he's been doing is, like, trap stuff, and I'm not into that, so... No? <laughs> what is trap stuff? You do. Um, where guys are look like girls, but they're actually guys. Okay. Oh my, that is slowing this shit down. I know. But yeah, no, no, the last, like, four or five posts, every single time, it's just been... Trap. Yeah, it's just like, I'm a girl. Oh, wait, no, I'm a girl with huge pair of balls and penis. And I'm just like, eh, Isn't that I'm what gone. they do most? Isn't that what he does most of the time? Though? No. I thought he did it, like, all the time. No, I mean, that's something he's been doing a lot more recently. Yeah. I thought he did that all the time. Like, there was always a version of, like, Elastigirl He would do, a like, a little version of it. But it, it, that's more of a recent kind of thing, not, yeah. like, back in the day. So he does it just all the time now. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm not interested in that. It must be it must be tough have, like trying to maintain uh, a fan base. Or not even not necessarily a fan base, but I was just say like inspiration to continue drawing stuff like that. But I don't know, maybe you know, I, I I guess it's just a medium that I don't understand I like drawing stuff, you know. It's like, oh I feel like drawing chicks with dicks. 
Yeah, well, there's a there's a pretty like he does. What you call it? Um, shade. He does Mama shade. Uh, little poles at the uh, the bottom of the thing, and it's like, what do you guys want to see more? And you know, it's like um, boy on girl pinups, um, traps. Uh. Lollies, furries, um, you know, beasts, that kind of shit. Yeah, and then uh, the the two main ones that everyone's super into there are uh, Bring Black Blues Panties. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually that one, but uh, beasts and uh, traps and lollies. Like those are the three. Uh, so I'm just like, well, I'm not really into that. So. The lollies are weird. Yes, I don't oh, like the lollies that no. much. Why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> oh, I was I was playing with my phone and like, <laughs> and then I almost dropped it. So I grabbed it real quick oh. and hit myself in the nut. Oh. <laughs> That's the worst is when you like get just just a light enough nut hit. Yeah, it, like it doesn't hurt right away, but it's like twenty seconds after, you're like ah. Oh. It's like one of those like it lingers. Yeah, it's a lingering nut pain. Yeah. You sack tack me all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> she's doing. She last night we were laying in bed and then she's like, she kept doing this to me. <laughs> God, that was close. That's not real. And then, I you, did not and then you're do like, that. and then she's like, yeah, I'm trying to crack my wrist. <laughs> oh shit. Right, yeah. It wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard, but that's what you were doing. And I was trying to crack my wrist. Yeah, just coincidentally, you were hitting me in the dick you every time. You were laying there. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? What are you I doing? just like doing it because you're always inconsistent. Why? <laughs> inconsistent? Yes. Inconsistent how? Like sometimes I'll be like, <laughs> and then other times you won't react. So. Well, because I don't know if you're just doing it one time or if it's going to be a recurring thing or... You see, I'd probably hit Anne if she sack tapped me. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have very different... He does! Uh... He does. <laughs> Put it on the record! <laughs> like, just... I'd be like, you know, I don't like to. it when you sack tack me, she... so I'm, I'm going to punch you right in the pussy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she likes to tease me. Yeah, I can tell. You kids are teasing mother truckers. I don't like to tease because I I don't like it. So she she gets away with it all the time. You do it all the time. Shut up. How do, when do I do it? What did I do? Tickle. Yeah, because I was tickling in retaliation because you started tickling me first. It's true. Let's do it. Let's go down in the studio and it'll be on the camera. Wow. <laughs> you remember when they made this a movie and nobody cared? Wait, there was a movie? Yeah. When did that that's happen? What, that's what this game was based off of, was like the movie. Or like they went like hand in hand with one another or, or anything. You know, I don't know if the plot's the same, but yeah, this was like the the game based off of the movie, based off of the game. I think it was yeah, it was twenty sixteen. It came out. I don't remember this. See, I remember the see, you see, nobody remembers or cares. The last thing I remember about Ratchet and Clank was they came out with like the. The four person game? All for one? Yeah. That was like fucking like, I don't know, that was a while ago. That yeah. was like years ago, dude. <clears throat> That's the last one I remember because. No, well, this one was more recent than that. Yeah, well, I assumed it was, but. This one came out in 2016 in conjunction with the movie. Oh. I just, you know, I don't hear much about uh, Ratchet and Clank anymore, mainly because I don't own a uh, PS4. I don't even know what Insomniac's doing right now. Didn't they do that fucking Spider-Man game? I think so. Which they did very well on. 
I Apparently. Know. I've never played it, so I have no yeah, clue. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really, I don't really care about Spider-Man that much anymore, so. Spooderman. Spoderman. Hi, my name's Dave Spooderman. <laughs> Oh, wasn't it Sp Spider Man and Batman? Huh? Sp Spider Man and, and Batman. Spider Man? Slender Man? And, no, it was. It was Batman. Go wasn't it Goopy? <laughs> I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Fucking. Spider Man and Goopy, dude. I don't. Those fucking. Oh, poly, crudely, you mean crudely, those yeah. crudely drawn things? I didn't care drawn. about those. I don't care about those either, but that was a thing. And yes, they were. And made and people. There was Dolan. I remember fucking one time we went over to Alex's place and he had it up, and we were all watching it. And he was the only one laughing. It's like because none of it was funny. There was Sanic. Sanic, yeah. S A N I C. Sanic the Horchig. Or I K. I don't know. Next time on Chinstar Chest, we get our memes right. No, we won't.